GitHub introduction. We're gonna go to the official website of GitHub, that is github.com, and we're gonna go to products. We're gonna go to under explore. We're gonna go to documentation. And from here, uh, you can read the get started, uh, collaborate coding, CI, CD, and DevOps. You have security, client apps, project management. We are gonna go with getting started. Get started here. We click it. Uh, get started, quick start. Uh, learn how to start building, shipping, and maintaining software with GitHub. Explore our products, sign up for an account, and connect with the world's largest development community. Okay, we quick start. And here we have this uh, this concepts. Hello world. Set up Git. Create a repo. Fork a repo. GitHub flow. Contributing to projects. Be social. Communicating. Communicating on GitHub. GitHub glossary. Get cheat sheet. Get and GitHub learning resources. So you can go to any of these links here and start uh, reading this information we are gonna go with uh, the first one hello world so hello world follow this hello world exercise to get started with github okay we're gonna make a little bigger here with control let's see okay introduction GitHub is a code hosting platform for version control and collaboration. It lets you and others work together on projects from anywhere. This tutorial teaches you GitHub essentials like repositories, branches, commits, and pull requests. You'll create your own Hello World repository and learn GitHub's pull request workflow, a popular way to create and review code. In this quick start guide, you will create and use a repository, start and manage a new branch, make changes to a file and push them to GitHub as commits, open and merge a pull request. To complete this tutorial, you need a GitHub account and internet access, so we're gonna go to this link and create a GitHub account. You don't need to know how to code, use the command line or install get the version control software that github is built on so if you had it installed on your machine get you can use get or you can use uh, windows command prompt uh, cmd or just powershell if you have a question about any of the expressions used in this guide head on over to the glossary to find out more about the terminology so if you have doubts about this terminology you can go to this link you have admission access token api preview appliance as i need authentication code base branch so you have a bunch of stuff to read so right now what we're gonna do is go to this link and we're gonna create an account we're gonna sign up we're gonna sign up for an account uh, welcome to get lab let's begin enter your email so I have a dummy email it's gonna be test app pjs at gmail.com so press continue create a password so I'm gonna create a password okay enter enter a username so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pjs let's say that or, or like i'm gonna use this one this app pjs okay then click continue would you like to receive product updates and announces via email type yes type y for yes or n for no uh, eh, no okay please solve this puzzle to verify that you are a human okay click start puzzle to continue <laughs> okay start puzzle pick one square that shows two identical objects so two identical options would be this one okay pick one square that shows two identical objects so it's gonna be that one all right i'm a human 
or I create an account okay not really you're almost done we send a launch code to test app okay to my email so I have my email open here so I'm gonna go here it's gonna be this number uh, 25 so it's gonna be a 25 23 27 23 27 89 89 okay how many things members will be working with you uh not just me uh, are you a student and a teacher let me see okay what specific features are you interested in using collaborating code uh, Automation in CI slash CD, security, client apps, project management, team, administration, community, GitHub Marketplace, GitHub Sponsor, GitHub Skills and Electron, mm, collaborating coding, uh, code spaces, pull requests, notifications, code review, code review assignments, code owners, draft pull requests, protected branches, and more. Yeah, that's the one. Click continue where teams collaborate and ship unlock advanced features with head github team and continue with a free plan for the basics uh, well we're gonna go with the free so with the free you have unlimited public slash private repositories you have 2000 ci slash cd minute per month you have uh, 500 megabytes of package storage uh, free for public repositories you have 120 core hours of code spaces compute you have 15 gigabytes of code spaces storage you have community support and what recommended for you we can read this theme here you have everything included in free plus you have protected your branches you have multiple pull requests reviewers you have code owners draft pull requests require reviewers paging wikis environment deployment branches 3000 ci cd 2 gigabytes of packet storage web based support okay we're gonna go with that free oh yeah this is cool initializing your dashboard okay yeah we are here so we created our github account now creating a repository a repository is usually used to organize a single project repositories can contain folders and files images videos spreadsheets and data sets anything your project needs often repositories include a readme file a file with information about your project readme files are written in the plain text markdown language you can use this cheat sheet to get started with a markdown syntax so they have a cheat sheet here and you can make it a little bigger so you have the heading the ball italic blog quote or release so yeah you have a bunch of stuff here to read in this cheat sheet uh, github lets you add a readme file at the same time you create your new repository github also offers other common options such as license file but you do not have to select any of them now your hello world repository can be a place where you store ideas resources or even share and discuss things with others one in the upper right corner of any page use the plus drawn down menu and select new repository okay so we go to okay it's the the plus sign we select new repository okay so we have the new repository import repository new gs new organization new project okay yeah new organization new project the same thing two in the repository name box enter hello world okay let's go here it's gonna be hello hyphen let's put you to youtube world youtube world okay so 
3 in the description box write a short description so it's going to be description uh, our or my my first uh, repo my first repo or oh, yeah repository uh, select add a readme file uh, where is that here select a readme file you can use public or private public anyone on the internet can see this repository you choose who can commit private you choose who can see and commit to this repository uh, we, can, we can just leave it public here select whether your repository will be public or private okay click create repository uh, let me see what else do we have initialized add a readme file okay all right so yeah create a repository okay hello youtube world okay creating a branch branching lets you have different versions of a repository at one time by default your repository has one branch name main that is considered to be the definite branch you can create additional branches of of main in your repository you can use branches to have different versions of a project at one time this is helpful when you want to add new features to a project without changing the main source of code the work done on different branches will not show up on the main branch until you merge it which will cover later on this guide you can use branches to experiment and make edits before committing them to the to main okay here when you create a branch of the main branch you're making a copy or a snapshot of main as it was at that point in time if someone else made changes to the main branch while you were working on your branch you could pull in those updates this diagram shows the main the main branch a new branch called feature the journey that feature takes before it's merged into main so we have here the main branch create feature from uh, create feature branch from main here we have the commit changes submit pull request discuss proposed changes merge feature branch into main okay so have you ever saved different versions of a file something like this story.txt story hyphen edit.txt a story hyphen edit hyphen review.txt branches accomplish similar goals in github repositories here at github our developers write writers and designers use branches for keeping bugs fixes and feature work separate from our main production branch when a change is ready they merge their branch into main